Grace and peace, beloved, and good morning. And may God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and glad in it. I wanted to greet you this morning with the wonderful words of grace and peace, and that may God continue to multiply that in your life. May he continue to multiply his unmerited favor in your life, and may he continue to give you freedom from agitation. I come to you this morning to acknowledge that America has spoken and that we should continue to pray for the former president, Donald Trump, and that we should continue to pray for President-elect Joseph Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. We should also pray and be vigilant for the people of this nation, for we are politically and racially divided. We're not out of the woods, there is much work to do, and there are still matters to tend to and business to conduct. So let us continue to pray in the months ahead for a smooth transition of leadership and power. And as a congregation and a people, let us continue to be in prayer for our nation, for its healing, its change, and its reconciliation. May God grant this new leadership the wisdom and gravitas that is needed to lead in such times as these. May we all stay in good trouble, as John Lewis would say, maintaining a level of knowledge and understanding and involvement and vigilance, helping to build America back better. This is no time to retreat, this is no time to relax, but this is a time that we must stay engaged and do what the church is called to do, to pray and to be involved for justice and equality and the work ahead. And may the new leadership that has been elected, when it is their time to lead, may they embody the hope in which they have been elected with. And may they lead this nation in a new direction in the years ahead. Amen, and God bless you.